getting a toll bill in the mail. Especially not a driver who wasn't even close to the road in question. Denver 7's Jason Grenauer explains what happened and how you can prevent it from happening to you. Until I received that first bill. Like many of us, Jason Bolick wasn't pleased about getting a bill for driving E470. Getting one of these out of the blue almost seems like a hoax. His problem, he never drove it. I haven't driven a car in the state of Colorado for over a decade. He did sell a car in Arizona, signed all the proper paperwork, got all the needed info, but he may have left the license plates in it. It's unfortunate that somebody got a hold of the plates and decided to run tolls in the state of Colorado. I'm a victim. Someone drove his old car with his old plate into our state, up and down E-470, and Jason got the bill. When I presented my information, they're like, well, you know, that's that's too bad. No luck, even after giving the bill of sale to E-470 and dealing with a collections agency, he emailed Contact 7. Our team pushed it all the way to the director of the E-470 authority. That specific toll? is now resolved. Yes, it is easy to fall into that trap. The state's Department of Revenue says you can do everything right when selling a car, except the plates and still have an issue. That plate is tied directly to their name, not just the vehicle. So if you're selling, take the plates off and keep them. Get a bill of sale and the buyer's info and fill out one of these release of liability forms. We have them up on our website now to avoid something like this. In Denver, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.